Ixa, what time is it? It's 2 p.m. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. Please hit that subscribe button. Go on, see it, it's red. Just click on it. Thank you, thank you so much. You get to enjoy all, all, all my videos of me reading all these special, fun and exciting books to you guys. And I got another fun and exciting book to read to you guys today. Please, please, please listen to me while I read The Three Little Dinosaurs. Three Little Dinosaurs. On the back it says, Sniff, Lofty, and Scratch are three little dinosaurs who dream of being able to fly. But no matter how hard they try, they just can't do it. That is, until one kind family friend helps them become three little dinosaurs. How does this happen? Well, you're gonna find out when I read this book to you. All right. So now we have Scratch, Lofty, and Sniff with the best of friends. Aren't they cute? They spent their days playing hide and seek in the forest or, or splashing in the lake. Sometimes they did cave paintings. But most of all, they liked to pretend to fly. One day, Mrs. Brachiosaurus was picking pine cones for her famous pine cone pie when Lofty asked, Mom, can dinosaurs fly? Mrs. Brachiosaurus thought for a moment, My friend Terry Dactyl can. How? asked Lofty excitedly. Well, he finds somewhere up high, then he spreads his wings and takes off, said Mrs. B. I know a really high place, thought Lofty as she rushed off to tell her friends. It was the volcano. In no time, they were scrambling up the rocky slope. What if it goes bang, worried Sniff. Well, said Scratch, we'll just fly away. Come on. At the top, the three little dinosaurs began to flap with all their might. All together now, one, two, three, fly! Uh-oh, they couldn't fly. Instead, they tumbled head over heels and landed on a crumpled heap. Ouch, dinosaurs can't fly, moaned Sniff. Oh, yes, they can, came a loud voice. Who said that? gasped Sniff. Not me, said Lofty. Not me, said Scratch. I'm up here, the voice chuckled. The three little dinosaurs couldn't believe their eyes. Above them, an enormous winged creature circled the sky. Who, who are you? asked Sniff. I'm Terry Dactyl, the creature replied. Do you need a lift home? The friends grinned at each other. Yes, please. So one at a time, Terry picked them up and placed them carefully on his back. And they were off, up, up and away through the clouds, high above the volcano. We're flying, they cried. We are really are flying. There's mom, yelled Lofty. Mrs. B stretched up her long neck and one by one, Terry passed the little dinosaurs down to her. They slid down her neck. Wee! over the hump of her back, whoosh and zip right off the end of her tail. Mrs. B thanked Terry for his kindness and gave him a large slice of pine cone pie.
That evening, the three little dinosaurs munched on pine cone pie and watched Terry and his friends swoop and glide over the volcano. Then they went off to bed to dream. of flying. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed me reading this book to you just as much as I enjoyed reading it to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And don't forget, share this video with everybody and hit subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. See you again tomorrow at two.